WAOH is brought to you in part by Jumpstart Video, online at jumpstartvideo.com. Welcome to Good Morning Akron, everyone. I'm your host, Sarah, and today I get to talk with Angel and Desiree. How are you guys? Good. Good. Well, how are you? And they're with ARC Recovery Services, yes. right? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, ARC Recovery Services. So go ahead and just give us a general overview of what ARC does. ARC Recovery Services stands for Addiction Recovery in Christ. So we're a faith-based organization that offers hope to the community. Um, we help those who struggle with substance use disorder, and we do that. One of the main things that we do is we offer housing. Okay. We offer recovery housing. So we have two houses for men and one for women. So usually um, if they have just completed some sort of inpatient treatment program or mm -hmm. something of that nature and they kind of need a little bit more help before they go back home or decide they want to you know live on their own they come to us for that stability mm -hmm. and that yeah. structure and then we help them um, build their life back to back to being a productive member of society. Yeah, that's wonderful. So you have housing. Mm -hmm. um, what other services do you guys provide? Uh, we offer uh, outpatient clinical services. So we have a faith-based IOP program that kind of tackles the identity issues such as shame and, and guilt and all of those things that usually come with um, addiction yeah. and substance use disorder and the things that you've done. And uh, so we kind of handle that. That's really the root of it. We also do um, individual counseling. We do case management for things like getting your life back together, driver's license, um, social security card, birth certificates. People come in and they, they have nothing. They're from ground right. zero. Um, so we help restructure that, bring it back together so they can feel like a whole human yeah. being again. Um, then we also offer peer support, which is an individual that goes out into the community with them, helps them um, establish sober support, NA, AA, 12 Steps for Christians, whatever it is that gets them to where it is that they need to be. And then we also offer spiritual support as well well so yeah it seems mm -hmm. like I like how you walk people through the steps the with them system. I feel like that's so important yeah. because I think sometimes where it gets lost is is you know maybe they're starting recovery but they don't yeah. have the support like no. you said yeah. and don't have family to walk them through or don't have friends to walk right. them through and so you guys kind of fill that hole which seems really really wonderful absolutely absolutely um, so if someone is maybe at this point where they need housing or maybe they have a family member mm -hmm. who could use your services how could they get in contact with you guys the best way to do it is honestly just to call our office, and okay. that's 330-253-8803. So if you call that number, somebody wonderful will answer the phone, and they can do a short pre-screen with them, just ask them a few questions mm -hmm. okay. about who they are, what they've been through, and what they're looking for now. So we can best place them with the perfect counselor or services that they need. They can also get a hold of us through our website at arcrecoveryservices.com. Okay. Uh, Desiree, how did you get passionate about doing this kind of work? Um, uh, addiction runs in my family, okay. so it's always been something on my heart, and my mom actually went through the program herself, um, so now I work there, and honestly, she does too. She's my boss. I love that. Um, so we are family-oriented, <laughs> yeah. and it does take a whole family. You know, this is a family disease, and so you have to recover together, so you learn all of those things, and um, yeah, so that's how we got started. Well, and how cool that that now people can come in and you can literally say, yeah. hey, my mom went through yeah. this program, look where she is now, you yeah. can do this too. Yeah, and there's and redemption there. Yeah, yeah, that's really beautiful. Yeah. Um, what about you? How did you get interested in this kind of work, Angel? I'm in recovery. Okay. Yeah, I have about five and a half years in recovery. Um, I always wanted to help people. I was mm -hmm. a nurse first and um, you know, life kind of just tumbled down upon me and I ended up in addiction. And when I got out, um, well, when I got out of jail, really, and I stumbled upon ARC Recovery Services, and it was the first place that I felt <clears throat> accepted and understood, yeah. and I felt like there were people that could relate to me. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that it wasn't, I wasn't like the person, the outcast anymore because I had the disease of addiction. I wasn't riddled with shame and guilt and, and fear and trauma because of the things I did. I had a person mm -hmm. that could stand in front of me and be like, hey, me too. Yeah. Like, this is what I did. This is how it hurt me. This is how I healed. This is the peace that I have for you, right. and I'll walk alongside you during that time. So, I, I moved in, and I yeah, and I was gonna say, <laughs> and now you get to do that for other I've people. I've never moved out, and it's really beautiful that yeah. you're using your story to be able to yeah, to help others. So. Yeah. 
thank you guys for what you do. Mm -hmm. Um, If someone is on the verge of maybe they're in addiction and they're watching this because we don't know who's going to be watching this Mm -hmm. and they're Mm -hmm. on the verge of wanting to get into recovery, they want to make a change. What would you say to that person? Um, I would say just do it. Just do it. I like that. Just do it. And if you're not quite sure, we also do have um, an ARC meeting every Friday. It's at 7 p.m. It's Great. in our Beacon Cafe at 834 Grant Street. Um, about 200 people show up. Oh, wow. And they're um, in all different levels of recovery. Right. Some of them are just coming off the street to be off the street for a little while. Some people have 20 plus years of yeah. recovery going to this Great. meeting. Um, so even if you just want to come and sit down, maybe have some coffee. We yeah. offer free coffee and see what you think and exactly. then go from there. That's mm-hmm. great. That's great. What about you? What would I? What would you say to someone who is maybe, oh, I want to change my life. You know, maybe they're still in addiction, but they're ready to make a change. Mm. That you can do all things through Christ that gives you strength. You really can. There isn't anything in recovery that you can't handle. There's so many people that are willing to help. I think one of the biggest issues is we're so afraid to come out from underneath the fear. Mm -hmm. We're afraid we can't handle it or it's too much. What I did was too much, you know. Um, so just knowing that you knowing can, that you can overcome. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for being here absolutely. and thank you guys for watching. And, um, if you know someone in addiction or who is ready to get into recovery, mm-hmm. we hope that you check out ARC recovery services and we'll put all of their information below. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned.